the U.S. has fingered the Russians. Let's see what the Russians say about that right now. Our Alex Marquardt is in Moscow this morning. You know, Putin has been a major player in this campaign the whole way. Of course, he's denying these charges from U.S. intelligence officials. Good morning, George. That's right. He has, of course, denied any role in the hacking. And in speaking with experts here, it's unclear whether an, an order would have come directly from Putin or from the and from the Kremlin, whether it would be something a bit more independent. That's likely we will never have an answer to. What is clear is that he has been seizing on the anger and division in the U.S. to fuel instabil instability. And, and it's that's something that he's had quite some success with. And, and he's been such a player in this entire election. We know that he was not happy with Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State, Vladimir Putin, especially for what, what the U.S. did after he went into Ukraine. Donald Trump said a lot of great things about Vladimir Putin. Putin said a couple of things about Donald Trump in return. But do we have any indication about who he really wants to win? No, we don't really know who he'd like to see uh, inside the White House. He hasn't said anything publicly. People close to the Kremlin have expressed doubt uh, about Trump's unpredictability, uh, his lack of experience. Now, if this were left up to ordinary Russians, it's much clearer. In a poll that was released yesterday, uh, they overwhelmingly support Trump. We know that he would get around 38 wow. percent of the vote to Clinton's uh, 9 percent. Either way, they're getting ready for both candidates here. You can see the souvenir shops rolling out these matryoshkas, these nesting dolls with former presidents inside and the two candidates on the outside. George? Uh, alas, no electoral votes for Donald Trump in <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> Alex Marquardt, thanks very much.